Hi everybody, it's Joey Young here. Welcome back for another acrylic painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this romantic seascape with a lady in the distance holding an umbrella. And I'm going to be using a lot of fun colors today by Holbein, starting off with Compost Blue, number one, Phthalo Turquoise, Cobalt Blue, Dioxazine Violet, Sap Green, Light Green, Luminous Lemon, Luminous Red, and Burnt Sienna have the following brushes I'll be using as well. A number three round for smaller details, 20 flat for a path and the water, um, a 30 filbert brush for large areas of coverage, and a one inch mop brush. And if I use any other colors or brushes during the process that I haven't mentioned right now, check the description below this video where you'll see a full list of everything I'm using. So if you guys are ready to paint along, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is start with my 30 filbert brush, take a little bit of water and start adding it to the canvas. This is going to help me spread my acrylics out better, quicker and easier. And in case I forgot to mention, I'm working on an 11 by 14 double primed canvas. I purchased it this way from the art store. If yours doesn't come primed, you may want to add acrylic gesso, one to two coats and let it dry. Finely sand if needed. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our first colors, Compost Blue one and Cobalt Blue. Both on the brush, and we're just gonna start at the top of the canvas. Work our way down, take a little bit more, and just keep working our way down, then white, and we're gonna add white partially where we left off, work it back up, and then back down. I'm going to add a little bit more white now, again, where we left off. And then we're going to have our horizon line right here. And I'm going to add just cobalt blue this time on the end of my brush. And we're going to create some darker patches in the water before we glaze over with our blue turquoise. So all I want to do is just add a few lines, some wiggles for some uh, maybe some deeper parts in the water or those reefs, rocks. So that'll just give us that. Just a little something like that. And I'm going to let that just sit for a moment. Without washing my brush off, I'm going to take some green and I'm going to come in the dark green I'm taking. And I'm going to come in from the side. I'm going to have a little path from here. So we'll have a white line here for our path down to our beach. And just cover any way you like crisscross doesn't really matter we just want to get a, a dark base going here next brush I'm going to use is my flat brush this is a number 20 one inch but you can use something smaller if you want and I'm going to take some white a little bit of pink yellow a little bit of burnt sienna, and we'll just mix it up down here. Just want to create a warm, sandy shade, and I'm going to come inside, wiggle back and forth. We're going to go right over that green. We're probably going to pick up a little bit of that, and we're going to bring it right towards the end. I'm going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to pick up some more and I'm going to go right on the edge 
and then just sort of feather sweeping the brush back and forth and then we're going to lightly pull and flick little blades of grass just using the tip of the brush and we can make taller ones here in the foreground and we'll come in after and build this up some more with lighter and darker shades I'm going to use this brush to add some clouds and I'm just going to take some white on the end of my brush and I'm going to go up and down in circles letting that paint work its way out of the brush go over the where we started soften again letting it work its way out of the brush to create those more see-through areas of the clouds then we'll pick up a little bit more and we'll layer over going this way and then back that way this way and then back that way without letting off on off of the canvas add some more a little bit brighter inside less pressure and then we'll just have a few little ones here that are just sweeping off okay let's take a little bit of white that peachy color a little bit more white though on the end of the brush just add a little bit more light at the top of our little sand bank here imagine we're standing or she's standing up higher and looking down okay now we're gonna glaze over this is dry and we're gonna take a little bit of the calm or the blue turquoise phthalo blue turquoise with a little bit of water just a teeny tiny bit we're going to go over all the way across. Then, without washing your brush off, put a little bit left in there. Let's take some white and some yellow. Take a little bit more. A little bit of water and just add a few little sweeps inside then a little bit more white a little bit on the end of the brush and just create a few little lines like that because that's going to give you some indication of little waves back there okay a little bit more of our white and we'll just bring it right here at the shore with these colors in my brush you could wash it out at this point but I'm just gonna keep them in there and pull in a little bit to my purple I'm going to take a little bit more of the turquoise, some white, a little bit more turquoise, so 
we get a pretty sort of periwinkle color here. And we're just going to come in and add some shadows. In the sand. I'm going to add a little bit of this within the grass. Okay, and then I'm going to take some more white and I'm going to go over part of that purple. Rinse my brush out. Take a little bit more. This is going to give us lighter and darker shades of this color. Looks really pretty against the peach. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that um, peach color with the white and bring some of that back here. And then a little bit of the shadow color along the side. Okay, I'm going to use this brush. It's a little bit wet. I'm going to take some green and some purple. And we're going to as you can see, just start flicking in some grass. Now you might want to add a little bit of water. The, the trick is to not have too much paint in your brush. So dab, dab, a little bit of water. And if your brush starts to separate a little bit, that's even better. Now if you're having a hard time getting this brush stroke, just use a fan brush or a lighter brush and apply it the same way, same technique for all three of brushes. I just want to add some tall grass here. water. And I want to add just a little bit more of a light turquoise to the water. So I'm going to go back to that turquoise color that we made, lemon yellow, white, and phthalo turquoise. I'm just going to add a little bit more white to it. So it's going to be a little lighter. We're going to just get in between the waves. And just a little something like that will give us um, a little bit more depth in the water, shallower areas, deeper areas. Okay, so now I want to start painting the lady. And then we're going to come in with some flowers and a tree up here on the side. I'm going to be using a round brush. Yours could be a little smaller or larger than mine if you don't have this same one. This is a number three. And I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet. And I'm going to start with some red and some compost blue. If I have a little bit of cobalt blue, I'll use that as well. And we'll just dab it right here, mix it up here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to start with this mauve or lilac-y color. And I'm going to start her right here. It's going to be smaller because she's in the distance. We're going to just start with a little line like that. And then we're going to pull it down and make a triangle. Her triangle ends where her waist begins. So don't make it too skinny. But if you do, that's okay. You can fix it. 
take a little bit more water on my brush just to loosen that paint up a bit. I'm gonna bring her shoulder here, her elbow here, and her arm, the rest of her arm, just out here to her wrist. And then her elbow for her other arm will be right here. And this one's gonna be holding the umbrella. I'm just gonna bring her sleeves up. So we've got this point here for her, her waist and then we're gonna bring her dress down. So another triangle or a figure eight. Okay, then we're gonna take some white without washing our brush out. And we're gonna add a lighter shade or lighter shades in her dress. We're gonna catch the shoulder here with a point of our brush and pull it in narrower here and then here and add a little bit more white pull it back and then down narrower then we're going to add some thin lines here from her waist and we're going to leave some of that purpley base coat exposed because that's going to give us our shadows and the folds in the dress. So wherever we add the white, it'll be brighter where the folds pop out and then wherever they fold inside is where they're darker. Let's take a little bit more white. We'll add a little bit more sunlight. On the side. And then I'm going to just draw her waist in right here, just a little line like that. Pick up a little bit more of the white. And I have to make that dark color again. And we'll have some grass going over her, the bottom of her dress too, but I just want to bring in a little bit more of that purpley color. Maybe a little bit more blue. Make her dress just a little bit longer here. Okay, I'm going to come down at the base with some dark green and purple. I'm just get the bottom of her dress here. A little bit of shadows. Some grass. I'm just going to camouflage that. And then I'm going to Add a little bit of purple and brown. And it 
it's still wet, the back of her dress. So I'm picking up a little bit of white there, which is kind of nice because then you can make some different shades. Okay, so a little bit of hair. You can make yours blowing in the wind if you want. I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then I'm going to have a, just a little line right here. And then I'm going to have her maybe holding like a, a bouquet of flowers or something. But I want to add a little bit more down here with this purple and brown burnt sienna. I'm going to sweep off just a little bit of the hair there. So it's a little bit too thick. And then I'll go back to my white. I'm gonna add a few flowers here. First, I'm just gonna take a little bit of both of the greens. And we'll add a few little stems. Just like a little bit more of a dark green. Some stems. And then I'll take some red and white. And dab like that. You can use any red you want or pink. You choose what color you want your flowers to be. It's up to you. Okay, now we're going to paint the umbrella. So I'm going to paint the umbrella this pink, a little bit of neon red and white first and then we'll come in with brighter highlights. So I'm going to go up, half circle, and then we're going to scoop, scoop, Okay, then I'm going to take some white and we're going to add a few lines. This is kind of far away, like we're not going to see too much detail, but we want to have a little bit of separation here and then we're going to add like little scoops like this. I'm going to make her umbrella just a little bit. We're going to add to the end here. There, so it covers her a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to take white and we're going to add some light hitting the umbrella. What you want to do is paint it in little sections like this. Add a little bit more hair. It's coming down here. And then I'm going to take some white with some purple, some red, some of that blue. Just 
We make her arm a little thicker and her, her dress. A little bit wider. I want to create more of a puffy looking dress. Then I clean my brush off, come back in with some more white. Let a puff sleeve there just by dabbing and tapping. just pulling in a little bit more white where we want to have those folds standing out a bit more so you can change the length of her dress very easily just start the little shadow lines down lower And I'm going to add a little bit of highlights to her hair. I'm going to add some yellow and some brown, a little bit of white. And I'm just going to pull a few little chunks here very thinly. And then I'm going to use just a teeny tiny bit of that purple burnt sienna, very thin amount here. And we'll add some lines for our umbrella. Add a little bit extra red just on this side. And then extra white will build up the light. Might be hard to do until you dry it off. So now we've got some different shades on the umbrella, light pink, and then really light pink. I'm going to add just a little bit of the light green, a little bit more light green to her little bouquet here. And I'm going to take this brush again, and I'm going to take some both greens, a little bit of white, a little bit of water, and we're just going to come in here with some, let's add a little bit more of the darker green here for this to really show up, and then come in with a little bit of the light green for some flower stalks. And then we can start adding some little dabs for these flower stalks. I think I'm going to paint some foxgloves, and I think maybe that's what she's been picking. Now, they haven't bloomed yet on the top, right? So we're just going to take a little bit of a little ball of white and pale green. And just add those little ones on the top.
Just let out a few of these. Now foxgloves grow, grow really tall. We had some eight foot <laughs> ones over the years. I don't really know what determines how tall they get. Because they get a lot of light where they are, so it's not like they're reaching for the light and trying to get to it. And then I'll add a few more here. Maybe these ones aren't as tall. So we're just starting with these little light buds on the top that haven't bloomed yet. And then we can add a little bit of the darker green as well. So a little bit like that and I'm going to take even a little bit more dark green now dab 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 just to make them show up a little bit better over the water I'm going to take my neon red some white mix that up and we're going to start a part way down from the very top where we're having some that are just buds here. You can start to see the color of them. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of purple because the inside of them will be a little bit darker. So we're mixing white, red, and purple. And I'm going to start adding little ovals. And these ones that are further back here, we don't have to add as many. Make sure you leave a little bit of the stem exposed. So they're going to get a little bigger as they go down. Be a little smaller, a little bit more out of focus. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take some white. And we're going to, let's start these ones over here. We're going to add a little bell shape to them now. 
leaving the inside dark. So these ones back here, you don't have to be too particular with. And then these ones will start out with a little white coming from the stem. The white is mixing in with the color in my brush. Add a little bit of that neon red. Then as we get to these bigger ones, we're going to create an arch like that. Make sure you load your brush up so you're not pushing too hard to try and get the paint out. Okay, so we'll just keep going here. almost like just to simplify it a little triangle coming out over the darker ones so pointy then out Now some autofocus ones. Just go around with your brush and just loosen up the rest of the paint that's in there. Okay, I'm going to take some more white. Go around. Bring it out into round and then a little bit of a point at the end. round and then in a little bit Make sure you have a little bit of white there on your brush and then you can just add little circles for these ones that are a little blurrier I was thinking of having a tree in this painting. I know I mentioned that earlier, but I don't think I'm going to do a tree now because I think this is busy enough and just enough overall. I like the fox gloves and her 
in the distance there. If you guys want to see more um, portraits, figures, I've got a, I created a playlist. I'd like to create playlists for you guys so that you can choose the categories, find the tutorials a lot easier. Um, if you're just new to my channel, there I have a lot of um, tutorials here, and I have lots on um, Patreon as well, like exclusive tutorials that you won't see here. And you can check them, check the Patreon group out without having to commit to anything and just kind of look around at stuff and see if you think it's something for you. There's no commitment. And if you choose to join, it's as little as $5 a month, and that does get you a lot. The I have lots of tutorials for all of my um, tier members. Okay, so I want to do another foxglove or two in here. So I'm just going to start with these little dabs, and then... I'm going to space these out a little bit more so I have a little bit more room for my um, white part. I'm going to start adding right now. So white at the top. Remember our triangle and then up, round into a point, round into a point. actually pretty fun to paint when you get the basic idea of how to paint them. One of my favorite, favorite flowers. I think they're so pretty. I love old English types of flowers and there's lots to choose from. Delphinium, there's I think lupin, hollyhocks, The list goes on and on, and I wish I could grow them all, but I have a hard time succeeding with my garden. <laughs> Hydrangeas, another one I love. I could do the white part first, even. Add another something in here and then come in with inside with our purpley pinky color which I'm going to add a little bit here just so that they match and I'm going to have some little blurry out of focus ones here We'll just continue along. And a little bit more white to some of these here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a light patch, a little squiggle inside some of these, and then we come in with our dark spots. 
So first you have to have just a little dab of the light just on the bottom of them, but you see there's not too many here. And then we'll take some purple, a little bit of purple, just on the very tip of the brush. And we're gonna dab, dab. You can even go right under that scoop too if you really wanna make them stand out. These ones are a little farther away. We're not going to see those spots there. So again, a little bit of purple right underneath the brightest part and then little dabs. Only if you really want to have some dark ones that really show up. I'm going to take a clean brush, some yellow, and some green. Get a little bit on the end of my brush like this. And we're going to add some more to the stems or the tops of the stalks, stems. You know what I mean. <laughs> And then we'll also take a little bit of dark green. We'll make sure we have some of that as well. I'm going to fix this little patch here that I just noticed. Color match that with some red, white, and yellow. Take a little bit more white. Just want a little bit here along the path. I'm going to dab a little bit of this for some other lighting and lighter shades or some more foxgloves. Those little dabs. And so a little farther away. And then I'm going to get back to this purple here. I need to just slightly go over the path there. I'm going to get a little bit more peach in here. Okay, so yellow, red, and white.
Okay, this painting's all finished. Thanks so much for watching and painting along. I want to wish you guys all the best and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!